So let's suppose that we have a small boat in a river that has a speed of 2 meters per second in still water. Let's also suppose that the speed of the current in the river is 1.5 meters and points west, so to the left. At what angle should the boat head if it is to end up directly across the river, directly across its initial position. So let's draw our diagram. So we begin at the initial position and we want to end up at this final position directly across our initial position. So we're making the assumption that the current in a river has a magnitude of 1.5 meters per second and points to the left. So, we want to draw our vector diagram. If we have a current pointing this way, that means our boat should actually head slightly this way at some angle, theta, that we want to find. So, this vector, beginning at our initial point and ending at the final point, is our relative velocity of the boat. So, let's label our sides. So this, uh, this side, our hypotenuse, is 2.0 meters per second. It's the actual velocity of the boat in still water. This 1.5 meters per second is the vector, it's the velocity of our uh, river. It's the current of the river and it points in this direction. So we want to find what this theta is. So we can simply use our trigonometric function sine. So sine of the angle equals the side opposite to the angle divided by our hypotenuse. So we plug in our values for the opposite, which is 1.5, and hypotenuse, which is 2. So we get sine of the angle theta of our unknown angle. The thing that we're looking for is equal to 0.75. So we take the inverse of the sine function and we get the following angle. So this angle should be approximately 48.6 if our boat heads in this direction at an angle of 48.6 degrees with respect to our vertical axis. Eventually it will end up in this position directly across from our initial position. So its relative velocity, relative speed will be the magnitude of this vector and our direction will be directly upward. So once again, what is actually going on? Well, we have this vector that is due to the river, to the current of the river and our actual vector of the boat points in this direction. So we have an x component and a y component. So we want this x component to exactly offset this uh, current component so that they cancel out and our boat heads directly upward according to this vy component. So here we have the river, here we have the current of the river pointing in this direction, here we have our x component of our velocity vector pointing in the opposite direction. We want, to, uh, we want them to exactly equal so that they will offset one another. And in fact, if we have this angle, notice that sine of this angle multiplied by our velocity of 2.0 meters per second gives us 1.5 meters per second, which is exactly the same as the current um, of the river, but it points in the opposite direction. So that means we add them up, they will cancel out, and we're going to be left with this component along the y direction, and so our boat will go from our initial to final position directly across the river.